Yes, gang, so uh, I woke up around 6.30 or something. Then I started copying my old files to the computer. So, like, my phone was filled, like, storage was full. So I started copying them back to the computer and I copied all the footage from this camera also to the computer. And now I'm preparing to go to the OPG, OPD. Today I'm having OPD duty again. So I will be going there now. It's around 8.45 now. I have to reach there by 9 o'clock. So I will just get ready and go. And I will show you what happens throughout my day, just like all the other days. Welcome. So, so that is Iris just messing around in my cupboard. So welcome to the fourth day of the 30 day vlogging challenge. What you will see in this video, me drinking tea in the OPD, me measuring BP of patients, us playing football and basketball, and my cats fighting each other. I am all ready to go. No, I'm not ready to go. I have to wear this. And now I will not be eating breakfast today because I don't want to eat breakfast. Yesterday I ate, the, ate because ma'am told me that go eat breakfast and come back. That's why I had my breakfast today. So you can say that I'm kind of doing intermittent fasting and I had been doing this for the past three to four years regularly. And in a case, we are not working out properly in every case because the gym is closed and all. And we are not finding enough motivation to work out in the hostel. But maybe for the sake of this video, I will start working out in the hostel and ultimately it will do good for me, I guess. Let's go to the hostel. Let's see who will come first. They are up for a race. Okay, I think the left one will come first, but I can never be sure which one is gonna open first. So I think I will go on the left, in the left, which one opens first. Okay, so the left one ends and I am going inside the left one. मैं तो आपके पास ये पेपर दा मेरे को सामने है इसलिए तो मैं वो एक पर बार लिखती हूँ सर कल ये टेस्ट कर रहे थे आप कौन से लिए ये था इसमें हाँ परिसर के जीपे तब पर ड्रॉप लेके ये टप आते हैं
so it's around two o'clock now we finished the patients in the opd and, and now i came for lunch in the dining hall too in the dining hall too so some interesting things happened in the opd like one patient came uh, it was 21 year old female so we were prescribing her urine pregnancy test so i gave her a up ticket and i didn't make her put drop the urine in front of me i told her go do it and come so what happened is she came she showed me the test kit but the control was also not even <laughs> there so most probably she put some water or something in that then i asked her i gave her one more up ticket and then i asked her like go collect urine and drop the urine in front of me but she sat there for 3 hours but she told me that she was not having the urge to urinate and she sat there i told her to drink water she drank some 1 liter of water still she was like oh, she is not able to urinate and i told her wait for some time and just put two drops of your pee on that stick and after that we will see what we can do next but she refused to do that and she told me that she doesn't want to get treatment here and she left so that's something interesting that happened in the op- opd today other than that opd was pretty boring now i will go have lunch and maybe go take a nap and afterwards in the evening if the weather is nice then go play blast basketball and maybe at night i want to edit some videos and just like i told you yesterday i want to read about labor soon so that's my that's what i am going to do today that's what my that's what that is there in my to do list for today so that's all i slept and now we just one of my junior came and woke me up apparently his bike had a loose nut so i just fixed that and i'm coming back and when i checked in the basketball group they are going to play today so i am also going to go play with them so let's go play basketball so now i am walking towards the basketball court so you can see that that right one that is my hostel and basketball court is kind of little away from our student uh, hostels so i have to walk around for 2 minutes to reach the basketball court and here like people are playing in our mini football ground this is our lawn this is not our main ground and they are playing football here and maybe i will watch this game for like some time then after that i will go i was just playing football with these guys and they came they for basketball so i am going with them to the basketball court so it's always fun to play football with these people they are very much dedicated unlike basketball people they play every single day whether there is rain thunderstorm they don't care they just play and the dedication they have towards this game has inspired a lot of people all around the campus it's really windy right now i don't think you can hear anything that i am saying but still now let's go play basketball <laughs> so like the 17th batch finished their 8th and semester exam so punit how do you feel now you are always pass or fail basketball is love <laughs> so like from now on i think they will also come to play regularly and we will have nice games every day so <laughs> no bro you can still pass the exam even if you come regularly Okay so today unlike last day there are in some 15 or 16 yeah in this college there is a rumor that 16 batch got really lucky because of the covid and we all got passed like our pass percentage was really high uh, in the history of the college and everybody saying it's just because there was covid and the faculties and everyone let us pass the exam but who knows that might not be true and that might be true also so We are here in the basketball court now. I will go play some basketball, and after that, go to my room and then do the rest of the things that I plan to do for today. So let's go. So we had a nice game there. Everyone played really like good today, I guess. So it was pretty intense, and everybody's. tired now so i am really like i'm drenched in sweat 
so i will go to my room take a bath and then after that go for dinner and i'm really tired i want to study labor today and edit some videos let's hope that i have the energy to do that when i get back to the room okay guys but after coming from basketball court i actually didn't come back to my room i stood below our hostel and i was talking to my friends then after that i directly went for dinner in the mess and after that i came back i had a bath and it was around 11 o'clock when i came back to my room after that i after having that bath i tried reading something something about labor and after that i edited a little bit of the video and now you can see it's around 2:30 so this is what i do i i will keep procrastinating stuff and when i know that i shouldn't do that anymore i have hit the what final day that the last day that i should finish that stuff then what i do is i just burn the midnight oil and i stay up late and i finish whatever that there is to finish even if i don't finish everything i will finish the most important stuff so that's what i did today also and now i will go see i guess but i had been sitting here for like some 2 to 1 and a half hours straight so i want to stretch my legs so i will just go out of the room stand in the veranda for some time and after that come sleep because tomorrow morning at 8:39 i have to go back to the ward the junior resident had already sent me a message that i have to type certain discharges when i go to the ward so i will have to sleep really really fast now it's 2:30 i need to get at least 5 to 6 hours of sleep if, if i don't get 6 hours of sleep it won't be good like that you all guys also should get 6 hours of sleep at least every night so it's going to be pretty dark for you guys i just got out of my room because the security switched off the lights in the corridor at me which is actually a good thing because otherwise the light will be coming inside your room so I will go stand in the veranda for some time. Oh, I think it's raining. It's raining pretty hard, I guess. Like I told you guys before, also. I don't think you guys could see any of that. It's raining little hard now. There are thunderstorms and all. So I will just wipe the raindrops out of the lens. So it's pretty cool out here. the weather is nice there is a nice breeze coming and it's raining so i will stand out here for some time and after that i'll go sleep like i was telling you that two days back the weather in bhubaneswar is really unpredictable so you guys would have seen in the morning and afternoon whenever i was shooting it was really sunny and now it's raining like a lot raining really heavily with thunderstorms so that's what bhubaneswar weather is all about so if you guys enjoyed watching this video then put a thumbs up and comment down below which was the favorite part of this video which was your favorite part of this video and now i will go see bye